on the way to the immigration office. It's about 8.4 kilometers. I will see if I can arrive with my navigation system here in Cebu City. Hello folks, I'm here in the parking area of Chase in the Mall. And uh, actually you have to get the ticket here. And uh, after it's about 20 pesos. And here is in Mandawe and here is the uh, office of immigration where I want to extend my visa. Uh, we will see if it works. Put me it's in the second floor. So I'm here in the elevator and you see I'm going to the second floor. Here, uh, well, we're already here to the Bureau of Immigration. And now, figure out where is uh, a food, where is the Bureau of Immigration. Or however you want to call it immigration office. Well, I'm in time. It's nice here, it's really clear. Oh, there is a gym there upstairs, you see? This is a gym, Japanese restaurant. Wow. Mm. Japanese food, normally it's really good. Oh folks, here is a beautiful view to Cebu. Look this skyline, it's not so bad. It's a really beautiful city. You know the traffic is controlled by traffic lights. So actually I did not feel uncomfortable. The problem is my GoPro uh, camera adapter is not working anymore. So I cannot film while uh, riding the motorbike. You know, here the, 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 the always smoking areas and it's really, it's not like in Thailand where the people smoking everywhere. Here in the Philippines, uh, in many places it's prohibited smoking. Look, here a nice view to Cebu. My car. We'll see if I find this place. Oh my god, this mall is really big. Here is the next restaurant. So how are the prices here? It's actually well this is breakfast. Uh, yeah the prices are high. You know when I'm outside it means when I'm eating street food. Actually sometimes yesterday I spent 100 peso and I had a double portion of uh, chopped suey. This is like vegetable and the rice it was 111 pesos. But a double, double, two portions. Folks, I found it. And here it's not like in uh, in Legaspi, where there is nobody. Look here, it is really busy. You see, it's really busy, but it's necessary. So what can I do? Yeah. So here you have to take a fingerprint. Actually, it's a small procedure, but no problem. Folks, look, this is the uh, exit clearance. When you stay longer here in the Philippines and you don't have this paper, you cannot uh, leave the country. And this is my visa extension. I had to extend only for one month. So I saved a lot of time and money. Um, I will mention this again and will explain what happened with everything. So folks, I'm finished. It took me some hours to uh, get all the papers but now I have already my exit clearance the duration of this exit clearance is one month so today is the 15th of January and I'm flying to Thailand from Cebu city at the 12th of February so uh, my visa is valid until 22 and I made only one uh, month at extension and I had to pay for all together 2400 peso and there was a really friendly man he gave me all this information there uh, so I recommend you always to ask the people to take time to be friendly never stress around and they will help you when you get nervous, when you get impatient, when you get aggressive, 
you will uh, have bad luck and uh, you always have problems. Now driving back here in the rush hour. Look to that, it's really busy here. And you can see the light, it indicates the time. What you have to wait, still two minutes. Well, this was it for today. Uh, it was uh, a bit stressy. But now I have my uh, clearance form and my visa extended and I pay for all together 2460 peso. So uh, it was wonderful. I met some uh, foreigners, I spoke to them and uh, yes, stay tuned for my next video. Tomorrow I change to another place. Bye bye.